So in this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at another Windows virus. Again, we're using our Toshiba laptop with Windows 98 Second Edition for this. And the virus in particular is called Cervase. Now it may also be called Cervesa, depending on how you want to look at pronouncing it, but however a virus is pronounced, written out, blah blah blah, it's still going to do something malicious to your computer. It's still a virus. So we've got surveys here in the RAM drive folder because this laptop has a lot of memory and so I've loaded a RAM drive onto it. I've got the Windows directory open. And if you note, there's 342 objects in the Windows directory. So that's 342 total files and folders in there. Now let's double click on surveys and open it. I want to try to keep that counter over there. So I get this unable to open DLL file error. You see some files have moved around and you may have caught it there. But we now have 343 objects in the Windows folder. So Surveys has dropped a file in the Windows folder. So let's go look for it. This DLL file error is going to play a part down the road when we look at this virus and its infection routine. You'll understand why it's showing this error. So let's go look for the dropped file. It's going to have the exact same icon as that service file in the RAM drive. So here it is. Services.exe. This is the file that it has dropped. And not only did it drop a file, it also added a registry key to the Windows registry. So if we look up services dot exe we'll find that it's added a run services once registry key for that services dot exe file under the name explorer services we'll see that once it finds it in the registry this takes a little time on this computer so here's our dropped registry key in the run services once area as you see it says explorer services and it's tied to services dot exe so every time Windows boots up and it's loading the services for Windows, it's going to include this services.exe in those services and will load surveys into memory. So let's go ahead and get Windows restarted so we can get surveys loaded into memory. So here we got Windows 98 booting back up. And again, because of that registry entry, we're now going to have surveys loaded into memory and it's going to start infecting executable files. So I'll let the system here completely get booted into Windows. So the next time you boot your computer after loading that sur infected surveys file, again it's going to load that dropped services.exe. It's going to be regarded as a system service so we can't see it in task manager. And anytime we run an executable file from now on, it's going to get infected, and it has a unique way of doing it that you're going to see, which again is going to tie into that error DLL file thing we saw the first time we ran surveys. So Windows is fully loaded. And for good measure, as you can see, I've got Task Manager open. You don't see services.exe in the list at all. Again, it's being regarded as a service, not an application that's been loaded from when I and I are the startup folder. So, we're never going to see it. We can't terminate it. So anyway, let's go into our Windows directory and start messing with some executables. And make this maximized. So let's start with a very common application, Calculator. So Surveys is monitoring when a program is opened and when that program is closed. We've opened Calculator, so it's monitoring the Calculator program. But it's waiting until we close it, because obviously you can't make modifications to a file or program when it's in use, like being open right now. So if we close Calculator, note what happened to the Calculator executable. It's now calculator.dll but what happened to the executable? Let's scroll down. 
it's down here now. So what Cervase does is after you launch a program and then close it, once it notes that that program is terminated and is no longer running, it will then modify it by changing the original executable's extension to a .dll, and then it will create an executable copy of itself, the actual Surveys virus, and it will then link back to that .dll file of the original program. So if we run this, it still loads calculator, but it's running Surveys on top of it before loading it. So what this is essentially is doing is acting as what we call a companion virus. Now let's look at some other ones here. Let's look at the CD player. CD player is open. It's monitoring it. I close CD player. And now CD player has met the same fate. It's now CD player.dll and we have CD player exe down here. Again, that's the surface virus in an executable form and it links back to that CD player.dll to run the actual program. So, let's just keep running programs and infect more of them here. Character map. Character map's done. Let's see, free cell. There's free cell. Free cell's gone. So anyway, one of the things that Surveys also does is it can actually break some programs. So let me find one here from Maxis, back before it was ever acquired by Electronic Arts, with a familiar city builder called SimCity 2000. So let's load up SimCity. Of course, it's clean right now, working just fine. Let me close it. And as you see, it's taken over the SimCity executable and replaced it with this. But if I try to run SimCity now with it in this, in this condition, notice that the program is broken now. It doesn't work at all. It just quits out like that. And I'm still getting the little pop-up dialogues, but SimCity 2000 doesn't work at all now. It has actually broken SimCity 2000. So, Cervase's infection of executable programs does have the potential to break them. Just depends on the program. So we go with other ones. Let's go back there to ones like Microsoft Office. Office. And Winward. Where is Winward? Here we are. I'll open up Word 2000. Get exit out of it before everyone's favorite office assistant appears. And the thing about surveys is it doesn't always do it the first time. Sometimes we gotta do it more than one time. And there we go. Now we've got Microsoft Word infected. So that's basically what Surveys does. Once it's loaded up, it will inter intercept any executables that you run, change their extension to a .dll, and then make a executable copy of the file name with the Surveys virus attached to it, linking back to that DLL file. It doesn't really have any destructive payload capabilities or anything like that. It just does that infection routine. But if you want to clean it off your system, you got to delete that services.exe file, remove the registry key, and then manually, one by one, you have to change the .dll extensions of the original executables back to .exe to use them after, of course, deleting the infected service executables that they linked to. So that can be a bit tedious. You can't just use a bulk file renamer or deleter or anything like that because it's going to change other files that you don't want to inadvertently. So it can be a little bit of a hassle to recover from, but again, it only infects executables. It doesn't touch other file extensions or anything like that if you save data. It's just 
just a bit of a hassle to clean up if you get infected with it.